Glenn, here's a brilliant comment here. Everything is geared up to dumb people down. Now, I think, I think Magician is on to something there. Were they your best times of your career then, Scotty, on radio? What, radio? Um, well, was I mean, that, I've been very, career, very lucky, part? Glenn. I've had a fantastic career and tremendous yeah. success. And as I say, we mm -hmm. only had one blip. We got involved with somebody and it was a disaster uh, and that yeah. sort of thing can happen. Uh, you know, but apart from that, I've been very, very fortunate. I've met some incredible people. Spending your day with very famous people going in and out, you know. I used to say, who were these guys? And it was like the top, top group in the world, you know. Yeah. And they were in being interviewed, you know, and what have you. I mean, it's a credit to, it's a credit to you, though, Scotty, for, for broadcasting all that time, though, to be fair. And, and I could... Uh, well, it's, been well, yes, it's, a, it's in, in some ways it's a survival thing because they're always looking for the next big thing. But touch wood, I say, patting my head, nobody yeah. has ever beaten my listening figures. Definitely, yeah. You know, and they've never beaten the number of calls to the radio station and they've never brought yeah. in the money. I mean, I must have brought in round about £200 million to radio stations over the years. Yeah. You know? It's like you said, Scotty, you're trying to teach these half works, aren't you? Yeah, you're trying, to, you're trying to get people, you're trying to and say to the people, look, come on. But I'll tell you what, we do yeah. attract, Glenn, people who aren't normal radio listeners. Yeah. You know, people that say, I'd never listen to the radio until this Scotty McClue came on. But obviously there's a lot of people out there who know you from the radio, obviously, and so it's, that's your peak, isn't it? Did I, did I ever tell you that? I think I told you about the, the, the girl that wouldn't, the last, she wouldn't sell us a bacon butty because she disapproved yeah, yeah. of the chat. <laughs> she said, I mean, are, I you know. him, are you him of the radio? I said, yeah, can you do us a bacon butty? I'm, no! <laughs> <laughs> she said, do not. I mean, I mean, if you'd, when, once you've disappeared after broadcasting for a while, people are thinking... And what, where's he gone and all this? Well, they? this is it. They, know, always, they, they don't realise you've gone to another station, you know? Yeah. I mean, one guy Thank said you. to me, he said, did you get sacked? I said, no, I went to another station. He said, why did you yeah. do that? I said, they offered us twice the money. <laughs> like I said, you might come back onto that platform one day, Scott. Oh, you yeah, can never you, say never, can you? You can never say never. And uh, it just takes one switched-on programmer to say, I want the Scotty McClue show on my radio station. Exactly. And away you go, you know, we're back in business. And then as they say, jobs are good, isn't it? Jobs are good, jobs sorted, not a problem. 